And let's look at a problem involving optimization and expected value. So we're going to start with a simple game example. Your medical company is looking for a cure to a certain medical condition. If they find a cure this year, the value to the company would be $10 million. But each medicine investigated will cost them $30,000 and only has a 7% chance of succeeding. How many medicines should you develop to maximize your expected return? So the company wants to make as much money as possible. Okay, let's try a very simple example. Let's, try, let's say they make zero medicines. They don't do anything. Probably success is pretty low. It's zero. They're not going to find a medicine if they don't look, and it will certainly fail. Now, in the prior example on expected values, you had the trees with each of the possibilities. And we could draw the trees here, but they become a little cumbersome. And there's only two branches. You either succeed or you fail. So we're going to take the probability of success times the value of success plus the probability of failure times the value of failure. In this case, probability of success is zero times $10 million. There's no chance of finding it. One times, and there's no expenses if you don't do any medicines, so our expected value is zero. Can we do better? Let's try one medicine. Well, then our probability of success is 7%, so 0 0.07, while our probability of failure is 0.93. Shortly, we won't be able to use that 0 0.07 directly, so on two medicines, we'll have a look at a slightly different thing that has to happen. So expected value is the probability of success times the value of success. So 0 0.07 times 10,000 minus 10 million minus 30,000. And then this is supposed to be minus. I have a typo. It's probably on a couple of slides short on time today. So just live with it. This is minus 0 0.93 times 30,000. You, you still lose $30,000. 93% of the time you just lose $30,000. 30, 7% of the time you make 10 million minus the 30,000. So notice something here. You pay for the 30,000 either way. So 0 0.07 times negative 30,000 minus 0 0.93, that's 1 times 30,000. So we'll write this equation in slightly sim simpler for form in here. The expected value is 670,000. That's certainly better than 0, our prior expected value with no medicines. But notice what's really going to happen. 7% of the time you're going to make a ton of money. 93% of the time you're going to lose 30,000. Can we do better on expected value? And what's it going to mean for the two cases? Let's have a look. So two medicines. What we're, we're going to do here, you cannot do two medicines as 0.07 squared. Like I, You can't do it. People always want to, but you simply can't. A coin, flipping a coin to get heads is 0.5, but flipping two coins is not 0.5 plus 0.5 or 1. You can, it's not guaranteed you flip two coins, you always get two heads. In fact, you only get it, um, you only, only get a head 75% of the time. So it doesn't work that way. We have to look at the probability of failure first. So one medicine doesn't cure it, and another doesn't. It's 0.93 squared, and that evaluates to 0.8649. So the probability of success is 1 minus this probability of failure, 0.93 squared, 13.51%. So 13%, 1, we'll find a cure. 86% or 0.8649 is probability we won't find a cure. And let's look at the expected values. Well, the expected value is the probability we get the 10 million, so 1 minus 0.93 squared times the 10 million. And then we have to pay for the two medicines. So unlike the way I wrote it on the last slide, this time we're just going to subtract two medicines from the end of our expected value. So there's a chance you win the money, a chance you find the cure, but you certainly pay for the medicine either way. And that comes out to 1,291,000. So that's better than we were with one medicine. Let's Should we keep going? Obviously, we don't want to buy 10,000 medicines. We'd be spending... $30 million would be too much. So somewhere there must be a best answer. Three medicines. Similar logic. Failing is 0.93 cubed then. You'd have to have three medicines in a row cubed. Uh, so cubed. Fail. And a success is 1 minus 0.93 cubed. So we take the probability of success times our 10 million minus 3 times 30,000. And we see it's gone up even more. We're at $1.8 million now. So... I don't want to keep going forever, so then I ask myself a question. Can I make this with an X medicine? Can I come up with an equation? In the next slide, we've done that. With X medicines, the probability of failure is 0.93 raised to this number X that we don't know. The probability of success is 1 minus 0.93 to the X. So the expected value is 1 minus 0.93 to the X times 10 million minus X times 30,000. And we want to find a maximum on this expected value provided that x is greater than or equal to 0. So a couple of options on this. You could keep going one at a time until you get there, but that looked tedious. 
You could graph this function on your calculator, letting x0 be your min and guessing an x max and see if you find a maximum value, see if you find the graph going up and starting to come back down. I'm going to choose to use Wolfram Alpha for this. So I'm going to get out of this screen. And if I can get the right Google Chrome screen up with my Wolfram Alpha instead of all my email. <laughs> and here's, uh, here's how it would look like. Maximize 1 minus 0.93 to the x times 10 million minus x times 30,000, comma, x greater than or equal to 0. And Wolfram Alpha will tell me back that the domain is x greater than or equal to 0, which is perfect. That's what I want. The function is what it should be, so it's working. And it gave me an answer in terrible form. And this always shocked me when Wolfram Alpha does this so poorly because this is actually not that hard of a problem to take a derivative and use calculus to solve. It also gives me a graph, so it's 40-some here, a little more than 40. But we can click this button here that says approximate form. And if my connection is good. I'm going to get that this happens at 43.9 medicines, and the actual ma maximum is 8.269 times 10 to the 6. So that looks like $8,269,000 if I move the decimal six spaces to the right. So that is the maximum value, and this is the number of things to do. Now notice, you're not going to ever get $8 million. You are still taking a very real chance of getting no money. If we take 0.93 to the 43, probably 44 medicines, since it would be hard to hard to do a partial medicine. So if I do 0.93 raised to the 44, this will tell me that 4% of the time I'm completely SOL. I don't get a cure to medicine. I just spent 44 times $30,000. You know, I'm, I'm probably getting fired because I spent a couple million dollars and didn't get a cure. But 96% of the time you would get a cure. You'd spend your millions, but you would also cure the disease for $10 million or whatever. So you would so you would more than likely, of course, get a cure, but there is that chance at 4% that you didn't get a cure. So these are, to me, very interesting problems because in a real world, when you invest in anything, you are not certain. So what you do in life, whether you buy a house or start a coffee shop or whatever you do, or if your company you're working at decides to acquire a new business, there is always an expected value in, involved with that. You could succeed and do well, or you could fail and what you want in life is positive expected values. You want to be taking those gambles that make sense to take. Hope this has been a helpful video for you.